Hey, good evening, uh, Salvador. Hey, teacher. How are you, man? How was your day? Ahí está pesadito, teacher. Really? Ha habido más cambios todavía. Sí, more changes. Eh. Wow. Vaya Era que... que... Vaya que sí han estado viendo cambios bastante drásticos, entonces. Bastante, y lo real que también, aparte de los cambios de sistema, nuevas tiendas. Uh. Antes se tardaba una tienda, una tienda nueva en abrirse cuatro o cinco meses. Uh -huh. Este mes quieren abrir tres, si no me equivoco. Uh. That's a lot of changes, then. A lot of changes. <laughs> Wow. Sí. So you need to, to go in a hurry, right? Sí, uh, and what's up with Eric? Hi, everybody. How are you? Hi. Who are you, Eric? Simon or Pumba? Ah. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Depend, depend. It depends, it depends on what. Yo creí que iba a decir, aquí está la dupla, Timón y Pumba. Ah, oh, good, ahí se lo. No, me, pues, me cuenta Salvador que ha estado bien pesado todo. Sí, la verdad que sí. Y, y va a estar un poco, y vienen, vienen peor todavía. Wow, really? Sí. Sí, sí, really, chico. Este, vienen varias implementaciones y todo se ha juntado y tengo fechas, este, complicado, complicado. Wow. Bastante uh, pesado. Si, que, si quiere aplicar, aplica, teacher, creo que están contratando. <risa> what's, the, what, what's the payment? <risa> Depende el que va. Depende. Depende qué área. Depende ah, el área. Los ah, de compras, ah, los de compras, sí. Este, este, este Eric no me va a contratar, hombre. No, 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 sí. Ahí, ahí necesitamos gente trabajadora. <laughs> where, where are the, where, where are like the location of those new uh, branches? Um, Una es uh, en Apopa. En no. no, no, no. uh, the es en Plaza Mundo. But uh, I, don't, I don't know uh, which uh, of two Plaza Mundo are. There, there are two Plaza Mundos, right? One is in Soyapango and the other one is in San Salvador, right? Uh, in, in Apopa. In Apopa Plaza Mundo and in the other in Soyapango. Mm. Nah, okay. All right. Uh, then uh, I, I don't know which, uh, which of two will be the new. The new, yeah, the new branch. The new branch. Branch, branch. Okay, yeah. entonces, sí. Eh, eh, and, uh, también el, el otro centro de distribución, bro. el de caballería. Están levantando otros siempre aquí por donde estamos en otro en Nejapa. Ah, ese de, ese de caballería, es cierto, escuché. El de eso. caballería es otro que va a ser igual que, que no está yo. Ah, Ahí no, pero es, ese va a ser planta. Ah, de verdad. Planta industrial va a ser, piensan mover la planta de Aguilares, creo yo. So, sí. Ah, pues, ah, pues el, el otro que está por el de la integración, ese sí va a ser eh, centro de distribución. Centro de distribución. Y uno van a ser en un cantón... Allá en el oriente, dicen. De valor. Ah, vaya, ahí, ahí consígame. Ahí consígame. Ahí, ahí, aunque sea de barrendero. 
No, no in, in, what is what is the what is the name of the of that company? In, inversiones Lemos. Es que son, es que es un grupo corporativo, picture. Un, un grupo. Son cuatro sociedades. No, okay. I just know one ferretería Lemos here in Mesulután, but I don't know if it is if it is. El de los Ajá. Ese es franquicia. Ah, es franquicia de ustedes. Uh -huh. sí, no lo manejamos ¿cómo nosotros. ¿Cómo se dice franquicia, tío? That's like uh, franchise. Yeah, that one. Franchise. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, but, eh, eh, same eh, el, el mismo caso en, de Santiago Nonualco es es de one uh, brother or sister sister eh, brother, Salvador o brother los dos ah, de, 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 ah el, no. el, de, el de Santiago Santiago uh -huh. es hermano ah ok un hermano lo que pasa es que el dueño, para no tenerlos juntos o metidos en el negocio, mejor le puso su changarro al hermano, a los hermanos, más bien dicho. Uh -huh. <risa> ah, that's, that's cool. Kind of uh -huh. Un hermano así, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Exactly, man. Yeah. That would be excellent. En uh, uh, um, um, one, one brother has a business of uh, Make make windows oh, and, and repair, see? Ah. Cool. Yeah, and the and the in the in the branch of Garita uh, uh, how have how have one branch too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I mean but that, that that's that it seems like like everything is growing, but that I mean in that company, then that's interesting. That's really really interesting, and 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 it's good because uh, they are hiring more more people. You know, like they are like uh, giving more job opportunities to people in their surroundings. That is cool, and of course. And of course, I guess it's more more job for you, Eric, in in, in Salvador. <laughs> ah, but that's cool. Fíjese que la y la otra franquicia que se tiene que es eh, las tiendas Simi. Eh, de esas, mmm, ahorita tenemos seis tiendas físicas mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Y, y la tienda en línea, pero eh, no sé si se va a continuar aperturando o se adquiere. Eh, de la otra franquicia porque hay hay unas chinitas que, que tienen una franquicia también de ellos mm -hmm. tienen tienen que se han quedado como con tres sucursales todavía así que ya nos vendieron una a saber si irán a vender otras pero si si venden las otras sucursales ellos igual pues tenemos que, que prepararlas para para la empresa Ajá, ajá. Lo fregado que porque las negociaciones son así, vaya, una cena de los jefes. Ay, ok, mañana empezamos. Sí. Oh. Así ¿Qué? como lo oye. A mí me avisaron un martes en la tarde que ¿Sí? se había adquirido la, la franquicia de Plaza Mundo Soya y que la querían ya trabajando viernes. Wow. Y el miércoles en la tarde me entregaron el equipo. Eh, y preparar, preparar toda la info, pasar todos los inventarios, cuadrar. That's a lot of work. A lot of work. <laughs> so that's why, I mean, your life are very, very stressful. Se acostumbra uno, teacher. Yeah, I mean, you get accustomed. Yeah, that's true. You get accustomed. It's like, like, Es como que, mire, aquí está, trabaje. Y usted, para cuando lo quiere, para antier. <laughs> That's not for tomorrow. It's like, para antier. Literal. Literal. <laughs> and you got to hurry up with that. Créame que sabemos de really, qué. Sabemos eso. <laughs> That's really interesting. Because, I mean, you had to hurry up in everything. Right? You had to move on with, like, everything. 
gotta be constantly like like working under pressure and everything. Wow, that's that's a huge huge, uh, you know, like like demand on that. Sabe qué es lo que que me tensa un poco a mí a veces. Tanto grupo de WhatsApp. You got a lot of groups, really? Uh, sí, para, todo. para todo, que para tal área un grupo de WhatsApp, para tal otra, y así, ¿verdad? A veces pierde la cuenta de cuántos grupos está uno. Yo creo que estoy en más de 50. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ. You got, you got, you got to do El cadeo, página uh -huh. web, eh, son como 30, 35 tiendas. Eh, las de Simi son otras seis. Jesus Las de Christ, con, no. My God. And I complain because in, in every class I have, uh, you know, I, I had to create a, a, a group in, in WhatsApp. Uh, you know, uh, in this in this one that, I, that, that I'm working with you all and in the other company that I'm working. So I'm creating groups in there, like joining students and, you know, like, like remember, to remember names and all those things. And I'm just complaining because I got like, like what, 10 groups? And you just imagine, well, you got a lot of them. You got a lot of groups and that's it. Y yo quejándome. <laughs> y ustedes así como que, that's nothing. <laughs> Pero así como dice Eric, literal, yo, yo perdí la cuenta. Quizás el último número que, que me acuerdo eran como 25, 30. My God, that's a lot. Y es, un gran, y es un gran cuidado que no tiene que equivocarse si va a mandar algo no tiene que equivocarse de grupo porque o sea, hay, hay ciertas informaciones pero ajá y hay that you don't have to share with other groups mm -hmm. yes sí. my god oh my but anyways as you said like you get accustomed to that se acostumbra como usted dice yeah to, to work that way but anyways all right people so my God, like 12 minutes talking, that's a lot of time. Que rápido pasa el tiempo, right? <laughs> okay, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to the one before last one, video conference. So this is going to be like video conference 19. And it's really, really good that basically tomorrow we are finishing the module. Well, after a long time. Yeah, so so let's see how are we gonna uh, finish this 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 module and uh, probably probably supposedly uh, for September the thirteenth you're going to be studying a, a module number four. That's like a, a prova a, a, like a you know like tentative uh, um, studying with module four. Well, let's see what happens at that time. All right, people, let's let's start a little bit with um, the attendance list, and then we're going to start with the main topic that we got for today. Uh, today, we got a very interesting topic. We're going to be discussing two structures. Mm, actually, not that much structure, but verbs. We're going to be practicing two different verbs today that are very kind of easy for you, but are very necessary for asking and giving directions, right? This is gonna be the last uh, topic that we're gonna be discussing. And then tomorrow will be feedback and talking about business trips. And basically with that, we will finish this module. But let's start with the attendance list. Let's see, Ana Claribel, that's not here, right? Ana Maria, nah, she usually comes late. Diana Gabriela. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Uh, Eric Guillermo. Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, Ever de Jesus. Present. Okay, great. Fatima Alejandra. Present. Hmm, Fatima. You, you didn't show up yesterday, right, Fatima? No, no puede estar, teacher. Ah, 
Sí, así estaban diciendo que estaba con, 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 con resaca. Ay, no, claro que no. <risa> no, 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 Fátima. No, okay. lo que pasa es que me pusieron la vacuna ayer, la segunda dosis. Ah, ¿really? Me dio azul, ajá, la cabeza y un poco de fiebre, entonces uh -huh. me quedé dormida. Ajá, pero okay. sí, ya estoy muy gracias a Dios, solo es un rato. Ah, cool. Which one do you have? Uh, AstraZeneca or what? Which one? Moderna, ah, la moderna. moderna. Ah, de Moderna. Ah, cool. That's great. Ok, uh, Hilmar Cruz. Hmm. Here, Hilmar is not here. Uh, Jonathan Alexander. Present. Ok. Carla Benacer. Present. Ok, perfect. Natalie Vanessa. Uh, she's coming later. Uh, Nubia Zulema. Present, teacher. Uh -huh, ok, very good. Romeo Alexis. Yeah, Romeo usually comes late. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Uh -huh, ok, very good. Let's see, Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Uh -huh, ok, very good. Uh, let's see, Salvador Alfonso. Present teacher. Ok. Sara Carolina. It's not here yet, right? Stephanie Lisette. No, she's not here yet. William Alberto. Ok, no here. Joanny Noemi. Present teacher. Ah, ok, very good. Okay. Here, and the last one. And I'm not gonna custom to, to, to call you like the last one, but Stephanie Janet. <laughs> Present. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Let's just start with, with today's topic, people. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. I'm gonna share this thing. Me confirman por favor si pueden ver la presentación. So this is going to be today's topic. Yes. Okay, perfect. So this is the video conference 19 and today's uh, today's topic is going to be how to use get and go. Pero cómo vamos a aplicar estos dos verbos? Listen up. Los vamos a aplicar básicamente cuando pedimos y damos direcciones. Like to apply and provide directions. If you remember yesterday we were talking about something similar to this. Okay, we were uh, discussing about you no know, directions. So now we're gonna continue with that, but with uh, specifically these two verbs. Okay, get and go. So recuerden algo que no podamos comprender o no estemos comprendiendo mientras explico. Just turn on the microphone and let me know. Okay. So let's continue. Let's start up with the class agenda, okay? And as always, we got the review from the previous topic. Vamos a hablar un poco de lo que estuvimos viendo ayer. Uh, then we're gonna start up with means of transportation, okay? We're gonna see some means of transportation, like the most common one uh, that we use. The one there are some of them that we don't have here, but they are very important when uh, people travel, okay? Eh, then we're going to start with the uses of go. Vamos a ver un poco cómo usar el verbo go in context by asking directions. And then we're going to start with the uses of get. Okay. And then we're going to provide some examples of those structures. And obviously at the end, we're going to start up with some exercises. Okay. Just, just to complete. Just to complete and see if we have understood this topic. So that's pretty much what we have for tonight, All right? But let's start a little bit with the with uh, the present. Let me see. Then we're gonna have our work in the manual as always. But let's start up with yesterday's topic. Okay. What was the topic that we were discussing yesterday? So let's see. For the ones who showed up yesterday to the class, tell me what were we discussing last class?
Indonesian. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. How to the... use uh, imperative? No, nah, okay. Thank you, Jonathan. How to use imperatives? How do we use imperatives ever? Uh, the imperative basically is a uh, uh, one common order to mm -hmm. give to other person. Nah, okay, all right. That is given by another person. Okay, very good. Aha. Uh -huh. But those type of imperatives, Mrs. Janet, in what ways were we applying those imperatives? De qué forma nos estábamos implementando? About what? In, in direct direction. Ah, getting directions, right? Okay, just mm -hmm. to get directions. Okay, very good. And uh, Carla, can you mention an imperative to provide a direction or to ask for a direction? From mm -hmm. the ones that we were discussing yesterday? Go. Go fast, to your left, to your right. Now, nah, okay, very good, Carla. Yeah, those basically are the imperatives that we were like discussing yesterday. Just, just some of them, right? Just some of them. Good. Let's see, Nubia. When we use imperatives, Nubia, do we use subjects? Do we use uh, a, a subject when we talk about imperatives? I don't remember. Huh? I don't remember. <laughs> what don't you remember, Nubia? Listen, do we use subjects when we uh, uh, provide imperatives or when we talk about imperatives? Usamos sujetos cuando usamos imperativos? Or commands? Do you want to call them? No. Commands. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Helmer. Ah, very participative. Okay. No, ocupamos. <laughs> Vino a salvar a Nubia. <laughs> yes, we don't use we don't use the subject. Okay. Ahí en es eh, cuando usamos imperatives, remember, no no usamos pronombres, no usamos nombres. We don't use anything related to that. We just uh mention the verb that goes according to the structure that we are talking about or the context that we are talking about all right and that's it okay if you're asking about a direction you will start by giving the exact verb that you consider is the appropriate okay si nos están preguntando dónde está una gasolinera la gasolinera más cercana y está tres cuadras so, ya sabemos. Me invitan a tomar café. Ah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, man. Eso sí fue, like, awesome. You see? Llegamos, <laughs> lleg llegamos. <laughs> you see? Imagínese usted preguntando sobre una dirección y luego sale con una cita. Man, you're complete there. You're really complete, Hilmar. <laughs> ah, that was funny. Hey, los, los autores no están, ¿cierto? No, 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 they are, they are not here, I guess. Yo fui uno, la otra fue... I am, mean, that's true, that's true. Familia yeah. Urrutia. Yeah, Mrs. Urrutia. <laughs> that was the one. No, but that, that was cool. Today we're going to be practicing something similar. Today we're going to be um, practicing a short conversation, and we're going to create a short conversation as well, but using these structures, go and get. Okay, that there are like very, very essential verbs when we provide and when we ask for directions. Okay, so, but that was pretty much what we were discussing last class, right? The last video conference. Okay, so uh, let's start with the things that we got for today. Let's start up talking about the means of transportation, okay? Igual, well, para eh, entender un poco el contexto, vamos a comenzar con algunos medios de transporte, the ones that we commonly use, okay? Because it's really important to talk about them in order to know 
how to say or how to know about what kind of means of transportation you need to get to a place, okay? Uh, but let's just start up. What are like the most common means of transportation that we got? ¿Cuáles son esos medios de transporte más comunes para nosotros? Bus. Bus, okay. Car. Like the most common one, car. Uh -huh. Car, motorcycle. Mm -hmm. What else? Airplane. 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 Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, just imagine I'll say, uh, I will go to San Salvador by airplane. That would be funny. I actually, actually, there is, there is a, there is a, like a trip, I guess, from from San Miguel to San Salvador, that, that they yes. can take you uh, uh, by airplane, but it costs like like sixty dollars. Expensive. And helicopter. Yes, es cierto. Dicen que de San Miguel a San Salvador hay una hay una especie sí. de Que usted puede viajar por, por, por avioneta, creo, o helicóptero. Yeah, but that must be expensive. My God. Me imagino que en el aeropuerto de, de Oriente, de ahí despegan. Don't know. <laughs> hey, Eric, no sea así. <laughs> Obviously, we got them clandestino, pero por ahí está. <laughs> ok. Qué Yes. All right. Uh, okay. Those, the, the ones that Nubia mentioned are like the most common means of transportation that we got. And we got some of them here. We got a train. And here, I mean, we don't have a train, right? But in other countries, you know, like train is one of the most important means of transportation. We got a train. You got a car. A plane or airplane, as as Nuria was saying. Motorcycle, okay. Subway, you know what is a subway? Pero no es del que vamos a, a la tienda a comprar, cierto? It's not that one. All right, subway. What is that? Bicycle. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, I mean bicycle. That's another one. All right, pretty cool. Let's see. Truck. We got by helicopter, taxi, bicycle, as uh, Hilmer was saying, and ship. Did you know what is a ship? By ship. Ship barco. is barco, exactly. Barco. Yeah, like when we want to uh, to go to... to, to Teacher and bus. Huh? Auto. Bus. Auto. Exactly, Auto. Bus, bus was missing. Yeah, I mean, there, there are more, as I told you, there are more. Yeah, we got, uh, as you were saying, we got bus. Yeah, like the most common, right, for us, bus. What else? I think this Uber. by Uber. No, okay. My Uber. In San Salvador, this is kind of common, right? Isn't it? Es un tanto común en San Salvador usar el Uber. In another place, horse. Which one? Horse. I don't get you. Los caballos, ¿no? Ah, by horse. <laughs> yeah. How do you say? No lo conoce. Mule. Mule. Uh -huh. uh, horse. <laughs> hey, mm. don't, don't be like that. <laughs> no, es que no se les va una, ¿cierto? Mm. Okay, yeah, I mean, those are like the most common means of transportation that we got, okay? To get and to go from one place to another, right? <laughs> oh my God. 
what is what is the most common uh, uh, means of transportation that you use to get to your work and to get home? In uh, let's go one by one. Uh, Roxana, what is what is the most common means of transportation that you use? Um, moto taxi. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> the moto taxi. Ya en mototaxi. Ah, cool. ¿Son bien comunes por el, por el lugar donde vive? Sí, bastantes. Ah, great. Un lado a otro ahí en mototaxi. En otros lugares le dicen tuk-tuk, en otros carritos, no sé, aquí en mototaxi. Ya, yeah, really? O, eh, un taxi en San Salvador, solo que son microbusitos así, chiquititos. Ah, cool. Ya yes. es. Aquí solía haber, bueno, acá cerca y, uh, solía haber algún servicio así. <laughs> Una vez un accidente entre dos. Yo se imagino, dos mototaxis, like, like crashing uh -huh. each other. Yeah. But that, 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 that's a really good the means of transportation, right? Very cheap, by the way. Okay. So Roxana traveled by mototaxi. Cool. Eh, Eric. Teacher, solo tengo una consulta. Eh, ¿Qué significa eh, plane, plane o plane? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Plane, plane, plane. Airplane, airplane. The one that you use to go to another country. El pterodáctilo. No, avión, avión, Roxana. Jesus. <laughs> Como y ahí, ay, imaginándome, ¿qué será? Decía yo. Y es el, 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 el pica piedra, estaba ahí. Es un de los No, Roxana, es un airplane. I mean, uh, un avión, ok? That's an airplane. O plane. Right? That's, that's the short form. Yeah, Roxana. Good. Eric. What is like, the most common? Uh, tell me, Jonathan. Eh, en esta categoría podría entrar los submarinos. Ya. Yeah. That can no, be uh, that, that can be a means of transportation. Yes. That category. Yeah. Everything that takes you from one place to another, that is a means of transportation. All right. Transportation de narcótico. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly. Okay, good. Uh, Eric, what is the most common means of transportation that you use? Um, car, uh, bus, Uber, and helicopter. Oh, helicopter. Oh. <laughs> Take it easy, <laughs> bus. <laughs> Take it easy, bus. <laughs> Cuando hay mucho tráfico, dice, by plane, right? Helicopter. Cool, man. En, sí. Envidiosos. Ah. Estaba viendo ahí una, un, un, una, no sé, un, un estado que dice, no, buenas noticias para usted, Eric. La gasolina de los aviones ha bajado de precio, dicen. Sí. Go and feel your time, man. Okay. Eh, oh, ocasiona eso, un ahorro en el presupuesto. Yes, man. Yes. <laughs> Salvador, how about you? What is the most common means of transportation that you have? Um, car. A car? Nah, cool. Don't you use uh, uh, the bus? Uh. Eso es para pobres, dice Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, cool. By car. Jonathan, how about you? Motorcycle. Ah, you got a motorcycle, right? Yeah, I mean, traveling by motorcycle is dangerous because it's dangerous. You know, like people nowadays got, got crazy in cars, but it's very, very economic. Very economic. Because from here, from my house to my work in car, I, I spend uh, in a week, I spend uh, like $25 in gas. 
in gas between 25 and 30 dollars but by motorcycle believe me i just spent like 10 dollars or less less than 10 dollars yeah, it's very economic but, uh, yeah. 12 you make 12 dollars full tank. 12 dollars full tank yeah i mean you filled your tank uh, um nine nine days nine days in last nine days for you no nah, cool mm -hmm. that's 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 excellent okay good uh william how about you what is the most common means of transportation that you have uh i take uh, a bus ah you take the bus nah, yes. okay that's the most common one that that, that, that you use the bus Nah, okay, yes. very cool, very cool. Going by bus, it gets benefits because you don't spend that much money, all right, on transportation. And if you have a car, you have to spend a lot in gasoline, especially in San Selva. My God, that traffic jam is horrible there. But you know, like, como los microbuseros ahí hacen sus jugadas maestras hasta por las aceras, <laughs> That is, that is interesting to, to see that in there. Okay. Uh, Carla, how about you? What is like the most common uh, transportation that you use? Um, bus. A bus? Um, sometimes in car. Sometimes yes. in car. Nah, okay. Can you drive, Carla? Yes. Yeah. Can you drive, Carla? Mm. Yes, sure. Uh, solo que no me dejan mucho porque sé que soy un peligro al volante. Nada más se pasa los semáforos en rojo. <laughs> Pero eso no es nada, Carla. That's not there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm kidding, Carla. Así como los microbuseros por la acera. Ah, OK. Cool. Cool. Yes, pero no es mucho. Habladurías de la gente, diga Carla. Oh. Okay. All right, Carla. Así es. <laughs> Nubia, how about you? Um, in car. By car? No, okay. Cool. Sometimes um, bus by uh, prefer walk que subirme a un bus o microbus. You prefer to walk? Really? Yes. Ah, cool. Pero su trabajo está cerca de donde vive. It's pretty cool. Ah, lo, lo que pasa es que yo lo hago desde casa, pero cuando me toca movilizarme, sí, me toca o en carro, mm -hmm. a veces en Uber, a veces me he tocado en bus, pero cuando hay un punto así medio que me queda cerca donde debo de ir, prefiero mejor camino. Nah. Uh, Son una amenaza los, los microbuseros, microgroseros. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Yes. Okay, that's interesting. So let's see who's next. Mrs. Janet, how about you? Uh, motorcycle. Motorcycle? Really? Mm -hmm. Ah, nice. Uh, can you ride a motorcycle? Um, no, o sea, eso es mototaxi. Ah, ah, okay. <laughs> A mí me da miedo las motos así. <laughs> ah, really? Sí. Ah, okay, good. Me imagino ahí bien, bien, bien vestida ahí, toda ejecutiva, bien nice en mototaxi. <laughs> no, sí. that, that's, that's cool, that's cool. Una vez, una vez, me acuerdo para la última vez que fui a Huayua, because in Huayua, there's a, uh, there, there's a service like that. Que le llevan desde el parque de Huayua a Chorros de la Calera, creo que se llama. Las, 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 the, the thing in there, donde están unas cataratas. Like something like that. All right? A waterfall. And, uh, you know, es, eh, que, que fuimos ahí. Iba con otro amigo, le digo, le decimos al señor ahí, si le pasa a ese otro mototaxi que va ahí, le vamos a dar un dólar extra. And you know what? 
ese señor como que, como que, como que llevaba turbos se veía por esas calles. That was really funny. That's the only, the, the, that's the only time I, I ride a, mot a moto taxi. But that's, that's, that's funny. That's really cool. Driving like that. All right. Uh, let's continue. Sara, how are you, Sara? What is the most common means of transportation that you use? On bus. Bus? Why bus? In a dos. Bus? Dos. In a dos? In a dos. <laughs> really? <laughs> bus? Caminando, what? teacher. Nah. Bus? In a dos is in a dos, but the sleep. Caminando. <laughs> Okay, okay, walking. That's cool. Interesting. All right, uh, how about you, Fatima? Bus teacher. My bus? No. Use okay. bus. All right. And Natalie? Helicopter. No, que galán. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Caminando, teacher. Ah, on foot, by foot, on foot. Yeah, okay. okay. Sí, unos 15, 20 minutos. Really? Prefiero caminar. Sí. Ah, okay, cool. Uh, let's see who's next. Psst, Ana María. Psst. Aerolíneas. Ana, Ana, Aerol, Aerolíneas Aguilar. <laughs> Tampoco. Antes era más, más, más en, en, en bus, en bus, pero como ahora desde, ya tengo, ya hasta perdí la marzo, abril, mayo, junio, julio, agosto, un año, Pero cinco yet. meses de no ir al trabajo. No Dele. me quieren allá. No, Dele. no e incluso yo califiqué para estar desde la casa ya permanentemente. Hay un 10% del personal que se quedó en casa, así que me tienen aquí. Hey, but that's awesome. That's really cool because you're, I mean, you're working in your house. You don't spend uh, money on uh, on bus fare. You don't spend money on gasoline. You don't spend on food. That's that, that's cool. And they sí. and they give you an extra bonus for for the electricity, right? Mm, pero no, pero en en nuestra compañía bien pequeñito. Nah. Bon porque te, al principio tu, teníamos entendido que en otros, um, en otros call center había un bono más grande, pero eh, a, medida, a medida ha retornado la, los agentes, uh -huh. entonces dicen que lo han ido hasta quitando. Uh -huh. Lo que tenemos ahorita es que estamos así medio complicados porque nos van a poner una cámara que va a tener reconocimiento facial, entonces allí va a ser más, Uh, más siempre por otras personas pagan los demás exactly, entonces, exactly. entonces alguien creo que uh -huh. cometieron algún error y por eso ya no yeah. van a no, o sea cada And vez va rules a haber... are changing uh -huh. yeah rules are changing yeah that uh -huh. happens in those places that happens and and uh, there's a moment in which you feel very very um, stressful they are working there I mean, the work in a call center is kind of stressful. Kind of stressful. Being with two modern monitors. Yeah. Por ejemplo, hoy cuando salgo, por ejemplo, hoy estuve con mi mamá en el seguro y eh, tenemos a alguien que nos lleva y nos trae. Entonces, solo así. No. Mi hija, y mi hija hasta se sorprende cuando salimos. Me dice, mamá, ¿cuánta gente? Mamá, porque no sale. Ella también ha estado desde casa. Ah, ok, cool. Es que ella parece como el meme ahí cuando dice, cuando trabajas desde casa y si tienes tus vacaciones y aparece alguien vestido como vampiro ahí todo chévere. <risa> <risa> no, but that's, that's interesting. It, it is really interesting to work from home. I think it's better in you know, a somehow working from home. I mean, you don't have to move from one place to another. It, it takes, it takes... It is Solo veo en las mañanas las trabazones o el ayer que hubo un trailer que, o el lunes fue que el trailer 
cerró la, el carril completo, no sé si no, lo vieron. God. Bien terrible. O sea. Y estoy así como que pss, de lo que me pierdo. <risa> <risa> yeah, no, pero that, 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 that's really interesting to work from no, home. Pero a veces yo podía desde mi casa venirme a pie desde El Salvador del Mundo. O sea, yo, yo cuando veía demasiada trabazón que no se movían ni nada, me venía a pie. Me venía caminando. 20 minutos y yo ya llegaba acá. Wow, but that's interesting. Uh -huh. yeah, it, is, it is really interesting to, to, to be that way. I mean, walking. I wish I wish I could do that, but my, sí, me encantaría hacer eso, pero it's impossible for me. Solo, mm. para, solo para tomar la carretera principal desde mi casa, la principal, like the main one, son casi tres kilómetros. It takes me by car. It takes me one hour to get to my job. One hour by car. Y eso que acá wow. no hay tanto tráfico. Así que si quisiese caminar desde de, de, el trabajo a mi casa, si comienzo tipo cuatro de la tarde, vengo acá tipo <laughs> dos de la mañana. <laughs> ¿Qué? Maybe. Wow. <laughs> no. Yeah, so man, kind of far, kind of far. Yeah, it's like, what, like 30 kilometers? Yeah, something like that, like 30 kilometers. Sí. Lejos. Kind of far, yes, kind of far. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's continue. We got a series of examples in here, look. Take a this, take a this, this, this questions. How can I get to the airport? Ah, Fatima, help me reading. You need to go by car, take the main road to the west for three kilometers. Now, okay, very good, kilometers. Yeah, you, 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 you said it correct, right? You need to go by car, you see? Y ahí estamos mencionando el medio de transporte que es más, like, what, suitable? For, for, for doing that action. It says, uh, you need to go by car, take the main road to the west, you know, uh, for three kilometers. So you see, uh, that's, that's a good way to provide a direction, okay? And mentioning what type of means of transportation you need to get to that place. In this case, by car. Uh, this is an extra example, but this is a positive statement. Sara, help me out reading. I work by foot. Okay, I go to work by foot. As, um, as Ana Maria, Natalie, uh, who else does it? I remember the other one that says that, that, that walk. So it's like when you walk to work. Right? When you walk to work. All right. Continue. Mrs. Janet, read the next one. She gets to the branches early because they go by car. No, okay, very good. She gets to the branches early because she goes by car. Right? It's like como. Ella llega rápido, ok, o llega temprano, ok, a las sucursales. ¿Por qué? Porque va en carro. Okay. Easy, as easy as that. All right, let's, let's keep going there. And let's see who can read this example for me. Mm -hmm. Salvador, read it, please. I'm going to go to the hospital by taxi. Ah, okay, very good. I am going to go to the hospital by taxi. You see, so uh, in this common sentences, we're applying the both verbs that we are about to, to be practicing. In this case, go and get. Listen up. Go is, made, is basically when you are traveling or when you are in movement from one place to another, okay? That is go, to move from one place, from place A to place B, okay? 
Now, get, what is get? Get is to arrive to that place. So get is like basically llegar, okay? It's a synonym of arrive in this case. De esa manera lo vamos a estar viendo, el verbo get, right? Get to a place, llegar a un lugar, okay? And go, everybody knows what is go, right? Like ir, you see? Those are like the differences. Get is llegar, go, ir. That's the way how we are going to be working with this. Okay, just get and go. All right, cool. May I move on? Puedo continuar? Because I see some of you are writing down. No sé si ya terminaron de escribir. Sí, yo sí. No, okay. Are you missing something, Roxana? Sí, te echaron falta ya casi. No, okay, cool. Just let me know when you finish. All right. So let's keep going. Roxana, do you finish? Okay. Next. Okay, now listen up, go by. Remember when we mentioned, listen up, when we mentioned the type of means of transportation that we use, we generally say go by, okay? Go by. Listen up, Eric, read. Use go by to specify the means of transportation. Do you, do you use? from point A to B. Ah, okay, very good. You send up, listen. You use go by to specify, okay, the means of transportation you use from point A to point B, okay? That length of time or that, uh, you know, time in kilometers that you spend from point A to point B, that is go by, right? When you mention the means of transportation and we've got examples in here and i want the first example to be read by romeo read them romeo goodbye bus mm -hmm. goodbye car okay by plan plane by come on by plane ah, okay by plane mm -hmm. by food by foot, very good. Okay, those are like the most common ones. So take notes because we are gonna move on with that, okay? Just take notes and let me know when you finish. So in this case, Natalie can say, I go to work by foot. By foot. foot. Yeah, by foot or on foot, okay, good. Te imagino, Natalie, le, le diga, hey, Natalie, ¿está cerca el trabajo donde, de donde vive? Sí, a la vuelta de la esquina. Like, y se siente una eternidad. <risa> Quiere costumbre. No, ni yeah. siento los 15, 20 minutos caminando, la verdad. Yes, that's true. That's really true. Es que cuando uno va por primera vez a un lugar, siente súper lejos. Like very far. Yes. It's like when, when my friends used to come here to my house and they, and, and they had to come in here sometimes by foot or by car. And they were like, yeah, que ahora vamos a llegar. A que ahora vamos a llegar. And we never finished like the trip. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. Aquí por donde yo vivo aplica, aplica la, que, la que dice el meme. ¿Cuándo vamos a llegar? Ya pasamos como cuatro cerros. <laughs> And you never get to that place. All right, let's continue. Teacher, ¿en qué parte de San Miguel vive? 
uh, in a municipio that is called El Tránsito. Yes, es de los primeros municipios de San Miguel. Eh, Ajá, sí. eh, ya lo he de, de Usulután hacia San Miguel por la litoral. Das, es el, sí, es de los primeros municipios. From San Miguel. Adelante de Concepción Batres, va. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Es bonito ese pueblo. Una vez me metí ahí al parque. Ah, really? That's cool. Really? Uh, oh, y ha viajado, ha, viajado, ha viajado a San Miguel por la litoral. Sí, solo por ahí. No, no, no me gusta irme a por el lado del, de la Panamericana. Mucha vuelta. Yeah, I mean, that's a long trip. Yeah. And uh, do you know where is el, el Espinos Detour? Do you know it? ¿Lo sí. conocen? ¿Lo conocen? Sí. Nah. Sí. Okay, cool. Eh, de ahí está como así. Yendo igual unos cinco minutos en carro hacia San Miguel, se encuentra básicamente el volcán, así, al lado de arriba, right Hacia ¿Sí? arriba. Entonces, por ahí vivo yo. Yes, pretty close from there. O sea que para cuando hizo la erupción, sí le llegó la ceniza. No. Ah, de verdad. Yeah, that was, that was, that was weird. Lo tengo cerca, pero no llegó acá. Because by that time there, there was a lot of wind. Había mucho viento. Uh -huh. was, most most of the What time was like to to occidente. Mm -hmm. And since I live in the south, I didn't. Uh, I, I I was not like you know, dignified. Yeah, with the ashes. No, okay, let's start up using go. When to use go? Uh, Joanne, read this part, please. Uses go to specific the means of transportation or to emphasize um, emphasize the idea, idea of the idea mention. the idea of the idea. The idea of motion. Okay, of movement, right? Okay, thank you, uh, Joanny. We use, listen up, go to specify the means of transportation or to emphasize the idea of motion. Esta es una pequeña definición de cómo utilizar go, like when talking about directions and mentioning, you know, uh, the means of transportation. You got any examples? Yes, we got some examples. Hilmar. Read the first example, please. Okay. I go home after work. Nah, okay, very good. It means when you finish your work, you go to your house, right? You move from your work to your house. Okay, that indicates movement. Okay, so in that case, we can use go. Next example, uh, let's see who can help me out. Carla, do it. I go to work at 7 a.m. No, okay, very good. I go to work at 7 a.m. So it means that you move from your house to your work from place A to place B. Okay, and the movement or, or the motion that you do from one place to another one, in that case, we use go, okay? Next example. Mm, Ever. She goes to the beach by car. Now, okay, very good. In here, we're mentioning the means of transportation. Acá ya utilizamos o ya mencionamos el medio de transporte. Okay, de cómo se llega a la playa. She goes to the beach by car. Okay, and we got one last one. Diana, are you there? Yes, teacher. Nah, okay, cool. Diana, read it. Eh, vamos por... 
Lo siento. Someone was sleeping. No. The last example, Diana. Diana. Sería por I go to work. Yeah. He. 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 Ah, uh, okay. He. He goes to the room after the check in. All right. He goes to the room after the check in. What is check in? Diana? What is check in? Registrarse, teacher. Ah, okay. Very good. Yeah. Like when you go to a hotel, right? And you do the check in, you provide your personal information. Now, okay. Keep going. So remember, we use go, okay, to mention the means of transportation or to emphasize the idea of motion, okay? So, and remember, in third person, we add ES to the verb. Y recordemos que ya cuando usamos tercera persona, ya no es go, es goes, ES to the verb. Ahí es cuando agregamos ES al verbo principal, que en este caso es go, all right? Okay, cool. Hmm. So let's see. Now, let's try to create some examples to have an idea how to use this. Um, example, uh, Mrs. Urrutia, are you there? Yes, teacher. No, okay. Uh, tell me, Mrs. Urrutia, how do you get to your house from your work. I want you to create one example sentence using go and mention the means of transportation. For example, to get to my work, okay, I go to my work by car. How about you? I go my, I get to my, no, wait a minute. Just go? Damn. I go to my work. Mm -hmm. um, to walk. Uh, by foot? No. Okay, se me dijo que me que hiciera un ejemplo mm -hmm. de, de, de cómo yo me voy al trabajo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Y yo me voy caminando. By Entonces, foot. That's what it is, Mrs. Rodia. Okay. A pie, by foot. Ah, you apply like, like, like Natalie? Se van vivimos juntas. cerca. Ah, se van juntas. Mm -hmm. mm, no, no, mm. pero vivimos cerca del trabajo. Ah, you're like, hey, Stephanie, ya estás lista. And she's like, no, okay, ya me voy. <laughs> Ella es mi mejor amiga, ya lo sabe. Que tenemos que estar siempre juntitas. Ah, ok, pero eso no es lo que estaba diciendo al principio de la clase, ¿no? Bueno, no. Ya va con mentiras, dice. No, qué barbaridad. Ok, puede verla. Puede, 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 puede repetir la clase. No, you can repeat the class. Para que veas ella, que no es cierto. Ella está en un cuarto y yo estoy en otro, teacher, por favor. <risa> You're, you, you live very close, really? No, 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 no tanto, pero sí, alguien. Nah, okay, cool. All right, Ana, how about you, García? Los demás piensen en una oración, ya sea a un lugar determinado, ¿cómo van? By car, by bus, by taxi, by Hoover, by train, by airplane. Ana? How about you? Bus. By bus? Okay, let's 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 create the example, uh, Anna. I go to work by car. I go to work. Uh -huh. I go to work my mm -hmm. bus. By bus. bus. By bus. By bus. Yeah, just by bus. By bus. Yes. Teacher. Uh -huh. 
Yes. I go to work uh, by foot. By foot. Okay. Very good. There you go. Okay. Sí, eh, podemos cambiar la palabra work también. Podemos mencionar otro lugar específico. Okay. Uh, what's next? Uh -huh. I go to hospital by car. Nah, okay. Very good. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Tell me, Nubia. I go to galerias by car on Friday, Friday at 10 a.m. Okay. Very good. Galerias. Nice. Really nice. A galerías food. me voy a pie también. The food court that is, that is there is, is pretty cool. Teacher. Uh -huh. Yeah, tell me, Carla. Uh, I'm going to my parents' house by taxi. Okay, by taxi. Very good, Carla. Very good. Who else? Yes. I go to the supermarket in my car. By car. My car. No, okay, by car. Very good. Uh, who's next? Mm -hmm. To the beach. Ah, you go to the beach by bus. Okay, very good. Very good. Y cuando sale el bus y, 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 y Sara todavía bañando, así como que iba el bus pasar. Oh my God, my bus. That would be funny. Cool. All right. Uh, I think Eddie was about to participate. I go to eat tacos. Uh, by bus. Ya no sigo <laughs> I know uh -huh. what kind of tacos you're talking about. You're talking about the tacos that the the, the Nubia showed uh, last class, right? Va a comer los tacos en el redondo del Mas Ferrer. Ah, exactly. Por eso ya no seguí porque no. Hey, que hay en el redondo del Mas Ferrer. Man. Una iglesia, teacher. Ah, a church? Cool. A church. Cool. Okay. Interesting. Everybody's <laughs> laughing. And, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm wondering, why are you laughing? Uh, and and, and, and it's, it is not called El Zorro Feliz, Eric? <laughs> uh, no, there is a car wash. Yeah. In Usulutan, there is a car wash that is called like that, El Zorro Feliz. Uh, in Zacatecoluca, the Happy Fox is is before. Oh, and yeah, that, that's true. It's true. It's a car wash. I know. I know. Right, Eddie? Mm, no, yes. Para botar el estrés. Ah, ah okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Nice. Okay. Todos se los puede este, Exactly. You know huh? De no, pronto, es que ese, esa es la de ruta pronto, que siempre... De pronto solo vamos a ver... Una... Lo veo bien serio yo. De pronto sí, solo vamos a ver una cacerola que pega así y después desconecta. Y sí, quien lo mira bien serio. No, no es, es que esa es la ruta que yo tomaba. Yo pasé Ajá. viajando, quiero ver, como 18 años a Oriente, más o menos. Vale. Eh, sí, no, iba por lo menos una, dos o tres veces al mes. Entonces, yo iba a Zacatecoluca, Usulután, San Miguel, La Unión, Gotera. ¿Quieres saber con... qué tenías ahí? ¿eh? <ríe> no, nada que ver. Es por trabajo. Entonces, sí. todos lugares, ¿verdad? los cinco negritos para comer ahí en Zacate. Este, allá el comedor Eva María en el Redón del Delirio. A todos lugares yo me los puedo. What. Ah, sí. you're talking about El Delirio, yeah, I mean. El Delirio, okay. Dele. Eh, Laguna del Jocotal, llegando al Delirio. You know what? Sí. ¿Sabe algo, Eric? Uh -huh. ¿No es la Laguna del Jocotal? Eh, no, no, no entré ahí. ¿En el lugar ahí? Uh -huh. Ah, está cinco minutos de mi casa. Ah, ¿En serio? Five minutes. 
Yes. Mm. Ah, pues, para que vea ah, pues, que no le miento. Eric, Eric nos va a llevar entonces a su casa. Ah, sí, cool. sí. Cool. Yes. Ok, that's great. That's really great. Ok, good. Let's continue with that. Jonathan, read your example, Jonathan. Or say your example. You have it written up. I go to the market by foot. Uh, I go to market by foot. No, I go to market. Ah, to the market. Ah, <laughs> escuché mal. Yo creo que decía Marte. <laughs> All right, sorry, man. Thank you. Uh, William? Yes. Yes, I'm about to, to, to quit there, right after William. William, give me an example about a place that you go and using a means of transportation. Okay, I, I go. I go to the supermarket uh -huh. and bus. By bus. Okay, very good. Okay. By bus. All right, thank you, William. All right, okay. just give me a second. Just give me a second, people. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pass the tennis list. It's 9.011. It's exactly one hour since I, I, I took the the first one. So Ana Claribel. Present. Okay, good. Ana Maria. Present. Okay. Diana Gabriela. Present. Ah, okay, good. Um, Eric Guillermo. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Ever de Jesus. Present. Okay. Fatima Alejandra. Present. All right, great. Hilmar Cruz. Present. Perfect. Jonathan Alexander. Present, teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Carla Benazir. Carla. You see it there, Carla? Mm, Anna, she's not there. Okay. Um, Natalie Vanessa. Present. Okay. Nubia Zulema. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Romeo Alexis. Very good. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Very nice. Roxana Yesenia. Present, teacher. Excellent. Salvador Alfonso. Okay, good. Sara Carolina. Okay, nice. Stephanie Lisset. Present. Excellent. William Alberto. Present. Okay, nice. Joanny Noemi. Present, teacher. Okay, nice. And the last one, but not least one, is Stephanie Janet. Person. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not get accustomed to see you at the end of the list. <laughs> you should be like number four, I guess. Okay, let's continue, people. Let's continue here. So we got some extra examples in here to 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 read and check up. Check this out. Uh, Ana Maria, read this one, please. Now this is future. You see. No, ¿qué quiere que lea? No veo nada. You don't see anything? No? No. Don't you see anything, people? ¿Pueden ver la presentación? Yo sí, teacher. Yo no. ¿Qué le ah, ya la vi. ¿Qué le tocó sí, a la computadora, Ana María? My God. <laughs> I, I'm going to go to the conference by train. Ah, okay, very good. So I am going to go to the conference by train. That's simple future statement, right? Just be going to. 
Okay. Uh, let's see who's next. Someone that has not participated in that yet. Rosa, read the example. You are not going to go to the concert next week. Okay, very good. Now, in this case, we're talking about negative statements. You see, ¿cómo hacemos para formular una oración negativa? Just by add, adding not between verb be and going to. Thank you. Uh, now, uh, let's see, Ana Garcia. Read, Ana. Are you going to go to the fast by food? Uh, can you repeat again, Anna? Because I, I barely listen to you. Are you going to go to class by food? Okay, by food. Okay, thank you, Anna. Thank you. Now, possible answers. Uh, let's see, Romeo. Read the possible answers to those questions. I mean, to that question. Yes, I am. Uh huh. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. If it is positive or no, I'm not. If it is negative. Thank you, Romeo. Next question, Fatima. Where do you after class? Where do you uh, Where do you go after class? Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Fatima. Where do you go after class? You see. Hmm. Hilmar, where do you go after class? I want a complete answer, Hilmar. The class. I go to the the home. I go to. I no, I going to the the house. I am going to the house uh, after class. After class. Now, okay, very good. Uh you you are. I mean, you're taking the class from your work, Helmer, or from your house. Yes. Uh, in my work. In your work. Ah, okay. And your house is, is kind of far from your work or not? What? And your house is kind of far from your work or is close? It's close. Ah, it's close. That's why. That's why. Very good. In that way, you avoid uh, <laughs> traffic, right? <laughs> Okay, good. Let's continue. Um, William, read this example, please. Okay, I go to bed after class. Yes. Thank you, William. In my case, I go to bed after class, right? But I don't sleep. I mean, I had to be awake in order to upload the video to YouTube for you can see the presentation one day after. Jesus Christ, I got to do a lot of things. Okay, but let's continue. What did I do the mouse? Okay. Get. Now, remember, go is to get from one place to another. That is go. Now, get. What is get, people? When talking about directions, what is get? Llegar. Llegar, exactly, right? To get to a place, llegar a un lugar. Hmm. Natalie, read. Use get to ask for direction or to em emphasis the emphasize emphasize the I Idea, idea, no sé cómo se dice. Idea. Idea of arrival. Arrival. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, repeat, repeat the word. Arrival. 
arrival. Ah, ok, good. Ya está haciendo como otros... Ahí más o menos. Está haciendo como otros estudiantes que a veces no me pueden pronunciar la palabra y yo se la repito y me dicen, ah, eso. <ríe> And they don't repeat. <ríe> oh my God. That, es que, teacher, hay unas palabras que se... O sea, yo las, las asocio y a la hora de pronunciarlas no es así. <ríe> yeah. Yeah, I mean, there are words like that. There are words like that. Y hay palabras que tienden a confundirla. Okay. Sí. For example, the word. Uh, yes. Like, for example, if you got the word actually, do you know what is actually? Do you know this word? ¿Conocen esa palabra? ¿Qué significa? Actually. Actualmente, ¿no? Realmente. You see, todos se pueden ir por la tangente y pueden decir, actually significa actualmente, pero en realidad no. Realmente. En realidad. No. That's the word. You see? Actually o actualmente, como ustedes dicen, it's, it's, it's different. It's this mm. one, look. Actualmente, currently. Very different, right? You see, I love those words. I do really love those words. Okay, keep going. Examples, we got some examples in here. Okay, uh, Nubia, read the first examples. Okay, teacher. I am going to start the class as soon as I get home. Okay, very good. I am going to start the class as soon as I get home. You see? Ah, comenzaré la clase tan pronto llegue a casa. Okay. Good. Uh, let's see. Rosa, are you there? Rosa. Hi. La siempre feliz Rosa. Read the word, uh, read the sentence, Rosa. I get to the to the office at a.m. Okay, thank you. I get to the office at a.m. You see, that is like to arrive to the office, right? Okay, and let's start up the last one. Uh, Roxana, read it. She always gets late to the meetings because she goes by bus. Okay, thank you, Roxana. She always gets late to the meetings because she goes by bus. Okay, very good. Nice. Let's start out with a couple of questions. In this case, let's see, Fatima. What time do you get home, Fatima? Uh, um, I get home at 7 p.m. 7 p.m.? Yes, for... 6.30 p.m. 6.30 p.m. Hmm. Interesting. If, 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 if there is traffic, what time? Yes. Uh, 7.30 p.m. 7.30 p.m. Hmm. I'm evaluating. Huh. If you get home to 7.30 p.m., and you come to class late. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> okay, Fatima, thank you. Uh, let's see who, someone has not participated yet. Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan, listen up. How, how do you get to the gas station? Uh, 
wall. Okay, but complete answer, Jonathan. Okay, uh, I I get to the gas station. Mm -hmm. By foot. By foot. Excellent, Jonathan. Thank you. Okay, there you go. So questions like that are the ones that we're gonna be practicing. Okay, with this type of a structure. Let's move on. We got extra examples. Diana, help me read in the first one, please. How can I get to the trade center? Trade center. Trade centers. Okay, very good. <laughs> Vamos a ver a quién premiamos con esta. Who will save the team in the dog? Ok, alguien que tenga la cámara apagada. Let's see. Hmm. Mrs. Urrutia. <laughs> Ay, no se vale. Ay, you didn't turn on the camera. Miren a Mari, a, a Ana García. Así la encendí. Good. Yo la tenía encendida. <laughs> pues yo no vi. ¿Cómo no? You see, como? No. Okay. Read. Oh. Ah, la leo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what were you thinking? Okay. <laughs> ¿Qué te hizo no, yo esperaba que me hiciera una pregunta. Vaya. <laughs> <laughs> ya ves que, ve que anda dormida todavía. Ajá. Read. Ajá, read. Go straight for three blocks, then turn right mm -hmm. and go for five blocks the trace and trace center mm -hmm. is on the right corner you can go by foot okay very good you can go by foot thank you miss so this is an answer to a question like that entonces qué estamos haciendo acá listen up estamos proveyendo una dirección okay so how can we do with this case in this case listen Podemos preguntar con el verbo get y podemos responder con el verbo go, ¿ok? Because remember, with the verb get is like cómo llegar, ¿ok? Cómo llego a tal lugar. So with the verb go, you give the directions, ¿ok? The address to go or to get to that place. Just keep that on mind. So let's continue. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Who has not participated that much? William, read this example, please. Uh, I'm going to rent a car as soon as get to Panama. Nah, okay, very good. I'm going to rent a car as soon as I get to Panama. You see? Rentaré un carro tan pronto llegue a Panama. You see, that's a pretty easy to identify, okay? And we got an extra example. Sara, let's read. Uh, I, usually, I usually... I usually get home at 6 a.m. 6 30 a.m., okay? Thank you, Sarah. I usually get home at 6.30 a.m. You see, that is the way how, or that's the, 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 the time in which that person gets to, have, to the house, right? Gets home. So, usualmente llego a casa a las 6.30 a.m. You see, that is one way to go. Good. Till here, people, do you have any question? Hasta acá tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a esta eh, estructura. Uh, when to use get and when to use go? Or everything get and go is similar. Get and go in a somehow are similar, but the only, the only different, William, is that get es cuando usted llega al lugar. Ok, llegar, get, go es el medio que utiliza, ok, o los pasos que usa para llegar a ese lugar, right? The road, the trip. Ok. Yes. 
So you can ask using, ask for a direction or an address using get and people can answer by using go, okay? Example, if I ask you, William, how do I get a, El Tunkovich from your house, William? Ah, you still may ask it. Go by this street, take this street, and then go straight and easy. In that way, you can get to El Tunkovich. Okay, so you can use in the answer you can use go, but in the question I use get. Okay. Yeah, it's like in Spanish. It's like ah, cómo llego a, a tal lugar? Ah, vaya por esta calle, luego la otra, and then the next, and that's it. Okay. So that's the way. Claro para it. preguntar. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Dirección. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. In this, in this, in this time, we, we are just asking about places, directions. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, you're It's welcome. Fair. Uh -huh. Solo una consulta. Ya había pasado lista porque a mí me está sacando el inter bastante de la plataforma. Yes. Entonces me, me tengo que volver a no que volver a ingresar y no se acabaría pues. Ah, really? Ay, ya le puse en asistencia. No, teacher. Qué valor. <laughs> no, Carla, I, I got Qué it. Qué malo. <laughs> I got it. It's so no, bien no. serio. <laughs> ¿Quién tiene la cámara apagada? Psh, no sé quién es. Right? Ok. <laughs> ah, Mrs. Rutia. Why don't you turn on your camera? Listen up. Solo vamos a estar hoy y mañana. One day, man. I mean, just one day. Sí, es que la de Gastan, teacher, la de Gastan. Ah, like the, the camera? Ah, okay. Creí que ella. <laughs> Las dos. Las dos. Okay, okay. Let's continue. Just keep going. Now, what are we going to do? Listen up. You got this practice in here. This practice, you can find it out in your manual, okay? For the ones who got the manual printed, let's go to page, I think it's 45. 45. Yeah, 45, I think. All right, and you will find out this short conversation, okay? About directions. What are we gonna do? We're gonna practice this short conversation for a couple of minutes, and then we're gonna move on with some examples and some exercises that we got in those pages from the manual. All right, let's start uh, practicing the short conversation. This is a conversation between speaker A and a speaker B. And it says a speaker A, hey, listen. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? And it says a speaker B. Well, the airport is very far away. Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi. Listen, you can go by taxi or you can drive, okay? The speaker A says, thanks. Ooh, I'm going to drive. I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Is there a car rental near here? And it says a speaker B. Sure, sure. It's two blocks down the street. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. You can go there by foot. Speaker A says, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay, now let's jump it like a little bit faster, okay? It says to speaker A, excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Uh, well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. 
and it says to speaker A, thanks, Ooh, I'm going to drive, but I need a rent a car. I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? And it says B, sure, it's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. And it says A, thanks a lot. All right, people, from this conversation, do you have any question to the vocabulary? With the vocabulary, any pronunciation statement or something? Tenemos dudas en cuanto al vocabulario in here from this conversation. No? No, okay. Cool. Let me get this thing. Okay, if you don't have any questions with the vocabulary, I want Eric and Nubia to start practicing. I want to listen to you guys. Okay. Who is a, who is B? Okay, Eric, B. Let me see, A and U, B. Okay. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you, Eric and Nubia. Now, Romeo and uh, Joanny. Romeo B A and Joanny B. Okay. Excuse me. How can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far over. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is they are car rent new, rental new here? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. sure it's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. By foot. Thanks a lot. By foot. Nah, okay, very good. And it says thanks a lot. Thank you, Romeo, and thank you, Joanny. Now, Hilmer and Sarah, A and B. Okay. okay. I am a speaker, huh? Yes. Okay. Excuse me, who can I guess to the airport? Well, the airport is very far, far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Since um, I'm going to the drive, um, but I need to the rent car. Is there a car rent near here? Sure. It is two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you, Hilmar, and thank you, Sarah. Now, Alfonso and Roxana. Alfonso is A and Roxana is going to be B. Saludar. Start, saludar. Okay, okay, saludar. Start. Okay, excuse me. How can I get to, to the airport? Well, the airport, uh, airport is very far away. You can go by taxi 
example, you can drive. Can't. Uh, oh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's to block down the street. You can go three by feet. By foot. foot. By Thanks foot. a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you, people. Thank you, uh, Roxana and Alfonso. Salvador. I'm not get used to get that. I, I'm not get used to tell you for Alfonso, man. It's weird. <laughs> it, it, it's mostly Salvador. The sí, lo que pasa es que tengo en otra computadora. Uh, yeah. Es más como decirle the savior. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ana María. Oh, an executive, I look at that. All right, and uh, William. Let's go, people. Ana Maria okay. A, William B. Okay, excuse me. How the, can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi. Oh, you can drive. Thanks. Oh, I going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rent near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you, Ana Maria. Thank you, William. You did it excellent. Now, Diana. And uh, Hilmar. Diana is going to be A and Hilmar B. Excuse me. Uh -huh. Ajá, Diana. Es que no la escuché, teacher. Yo soy la bebé, ¿ah? ¿eh? Hey. Well. The iPod is very far away. Ah, you can Diana, go by... Diana, Diana, Diana. You're, you're A, Diana. And Hilmar is B. Okay. Excuse me. How can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It is two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you, Diana and Hilma. You did it excellent. Now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fatima and Jonathan. Fatima is A and Jonathan B. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, I don't drive, but I need to rent the car. Is there a car rental near here? It's to block down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Nah, okay. Thank you, Jonathan, and thank you, Fatima. Nah, cool. Good hair, Fatima. All right, uh, let's continue. Let's continue. Ana Garcia It's going to practice with, I mean, there, there's no more men, uh, Mrs. Janet. Yeah, Anna. B A and the other one B. Okay. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi 
or you can write. Thanks, good. I'm going to the drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Near sure. Here. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. No, okay, very good. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Mrs. Janet. Okay. And thank you, Anna. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, who's next? Rosa, are you there? My God, I don't know if she's sleeping, if she's there and she's hanging out. Rosa, are you there? Señorita Enriquez. Okay. A la una, a las dos, and she's not there. Okay, good. Let's continue. Natalie. Hola. Hi. Y Natalie así como que me interrumpe de mi siesta. Qué galán. <laughs> okay, uh, let's practice with uh, Stephanie Rutia. Eso. You're going to be A and... and Así nos gusta. Mm -hmm. Claro. Vaya, uh, right, empiezo yo entonces. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you, Natalie and Stephanie. You did it excellent. Let me see besides, besides, besides Rosa, who's missing. Carla, did you participate already? All right. Yeah, you're missing. Okay, let me see. Let me check. Who else is missing? Okay, I will, I will need the help of a volunteer to help me out with Carla. And that volunteer is going to be Eric. Okay, Eric. Let's go for it, Eric. Comienzo yo, teacher. Yes. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, teacher. Excuse me. How can I help get you? How can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Um, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rent near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay, nice. Thank you, Carla and Eric. And the last one is going to be, if I'm not wrong, Diana. You haven't participated, right? Yes, teacher. Es que quería participar con la, con la que dijo, con, la, con ella, con la que acaba de pasar. Ah. Es que sí, no se puso las pilas. Mire, Eric, nomás dije, hey, participan, sí, no. y Eric así. Uh, uh, uh. <risa> Vaya, que, para que no se quede con las ganas que participen nuevamente las dos, va. <risa> Complaciendo al público, dígale. Ajá. Nah, we would like to do that, but we're going to move to the exercises that we got in the manual, right? So we're going to stop in here this part, and let's go to the manual, people. Let's open up the manual. We need to do some exercises there before we leave. Give me a second. I'm going to stop sharing this. And let's open up the manuals in page. Just give me a second. I'm going to let you know what page is that. It is page 45. All right. Give me a second. Where 
is it? Where is it? Where is it? My God, this book has problems, maybe. Page 45. Yes, give me a second. It doesn't appear in here. Ah, ahora sí. No me parecía en la opción compartir. Okay, we got it here. Uh, and I told you uh, page 45, right? Okay, can you see my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes, teacher. All right, cool. So this part, let's 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 start doing this part. What we were doing is this short conversation. Take a look at this. This is the one that we were practicing. Okay. What are we gonna do with this information? Listen up. The first thing that we're gonna start up with this. Let's go to this pair. Okay, to this. This, this part. What are we going to do here? Listen up. In here, we're going to write down a place. In here, the means of transportation that you use to go that place. And in here, a question. And at the end, an answer. How come? Listen up. Means of transportation. You got car. Question. How can I get to by car? And we can put in here, a specific place, for example. My saying. Wait a second. Galerias, for example. A place. So, any here, put galerias too, as an example, right? So, you see? The place, galerias, means of transportation, car. In question, can I go to galerias by car? In the answer, yes or no? Yes. Okay, yes, you can. Si, si puedes, you see? Another example, number two. Uh, what can I say here? Let's see. To to do to 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 el tunco. Okay, el tunco beach. And in here, taxi. We can include a, a taxi here um, or bus. Or bus, uh -huh. it depends on you, okay? Ahí va, ustedes van a escoger el, el, el medio de transporte, the means of transportation. And you say, Can I get to El Tunco by taxi? You see? Can I get to El Tunco by taxi? So what can we say? Yes. I can. Uh-huh. Exactly right. Yes, I can or yes, you can, depending on what you want to answer. You see, that's what we're going to be doing there. Okay. Bien. Lo que quiero ahorita es que me llenen las formas de medio de transporte y un lugar. Mention a place. Okay. Mention a specific place. And then we're going to move on with that. Just let me know when you finish this part. Let me see. Háganme saber cuando llenen la parte de place. This one. Place and means of transportation. Y quiero que me elaboren una pregunta. Okay, a question. La respuesta ya la vamos a practicar acá. The answer. Among us. Entre nosotros. So let me know when you finish. Remember that you can write a... a, a you know, like the desired means of transportation. Who got problems with the internet? Ah, Jonathan. Let me see. My God. 
10 minutos antes y voy 15. <laughs> ok, let's keep going. Let me know when you finish, people. Let me know when you finish. Are you about to finish, people? Ya terminamos. ¿Cuántas digo? Solo una a completar la Solo tercera una. o las tres. Uh, nah, in number two is what that was my example in number two. Okay, uh, do number two and number three. Yes. Don't pay attention to Ana María. Ana María tiene que. Solo una tres. era. Come on, Ana no, María. Yo tengo que desconectar, teacher. Mire que ahorita tengo una emergencia. Ajá. No quiero irme antes. Ay, con razón anda vestida de ejecutivas. Ana sí, Dave. Yo, ese es mi suéter. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Aquí ha estado haciendo frío. Ajá. Vamos, vamos, vamos a una cita, pues. Nah. Algo casual. Dios guarde. <laughs> okay. I like better than you, Ana María. Casi. Finish. Okay, do we have? Okay. Okay. Uh, Read the place, Nubia, then the means of transportation, and then the question. Okay. Costa del Sol. Mm -hmm. Of transportation bicycle. Mm -hmm. Question Can I go to the Costa del Sol by bicycle? Mm -hmm. Answer No, I can. Ah, really? No, me iba a la veía por la calle Sur City con todo en la bicycle. <laughs> How would it be funny? Right. Yes. No, sí, para sí. abajo sería divertido, para arriba no sería lo tan, 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 tan divertido, right? Sí, yeah, it's not that funny. Ok. Actores, cinema, plane. Uh -huh. Can I go to the. I, no. Can I go to cinema by plane? No, I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> Me imagino llegando allá por la zona de Metro Sur, mano, parqueando el plane ahí. That would be cool. Ok, good. Vamos a ver a la... Ok, thank you, Nubia. Vamos a ver ahora Yo. a quien va de salida. Yo. Yes, yes, go, go. Really well, el play. El place es multiplaza y el transportation va a ser car. Y dice, I can... Can I head to the multiplaza by car? Así. Mm -hmm. Y la segunda es places yes, beach y transportation es helicopter. Ajá. Y dice, can I get to the beach by helicopter? Ajá. Uh -huh. Answer. Ah, yes, I can. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Yes, I can. Thank yes, you, Ana sir. Maria. All right, Mrs. Janet. 
Okay. First is cinema, transportation bus. Uh, can I go to cinema by, by bus? Uh -huh. Respuesta, uh, yes, you can. Uh -huh. And the second, river, uh, transportation foot. Can I get to river by foot? Yes, I can. Can I get and... to El Aselguate by foot? Okay. <laughs> and Metro Centro taxi. Uh, can I go to the Metro Centro by taxi? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay, thank you very much. You did it excellent. Who's next? Salvador. Ah, así le va a quitar el frame. Go, Salvador. Place, uh, from a time. Means of transportation, um, cru cruiser. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but, but. Um, can I get I get to return the cruiser? By cruiser, uh huh. Yes, I can. Obviously, you go travel to the Panama Canal, right? Like people with money, right? No, primero hay que ir a, mejor sale más barato ir a Honduras. De ahí salir. <laughs> okay. 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 Good. Ah, okay. Just mention one because of the time. Carla, rewind, please. Um, hola. Um, the taxi. Can I get to Apollo by taxi? Um, the answer, uh, yes, I can. Okay, where is Apulo? Es el lago de Ilopan. Apulo. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's in okay good. I'm very I'm very bad at at, at, at geography. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, una vez que iba para San Salvador y se me, se me dañó el, el Google Maps, me acuerdo, y me habían contado que ahí por, por Ilopango estaba un poco, poquito peligroso, decía, it's like, y, y, y me detengo ahí a la orilla de la carretera y le pregunto a una señora, like, hey, disculpe, don, ¿cómo se llama este lugar? Y she was like, Ilopango, and I was like, ok, I have to go, I have to go. That was funny. Esas emociones que dan en esas visitas a San Salvador. So funny. So nice. Thank you, Carla. Sara. Read your example, Sara. Um, place, lugar, a paneca. Bus. Can I get um, to a paneca by bus? Uh -huh. um, just again. Yes, I can. Okay. El otro sería ataco. Ataco. Más... Sí. Okay. Ataco. Um, can I gain um to ataco by motorcycle? Yes, mm -hmm. I can. Yes, you can, right? Okay, thank you, Sara. William, let's do yours. Okay. Uh, the place Santa Tecla mm -hmm. means the transportation bus. Question Can we get to go Santa Tecla by bus? Answer Yes, we can. Nah, okay. All right, William. The only, the only thing, William, in there is that eliminate go. O bien puede ser go, o bien puede ser get. Va, por ejemplo, puede ser, can I get to Santa Tecla by bus? ¿Puedo llegar a Santa Tecla en bus? Oh, okay. o, can uh -huh. I, o can I go to Santa Tecla by bus? Ok, cualquiera de las dos. Ok. Can we, can we get to uh -huh. Santa Tecla by bus? Excellent. That, that, that's the way. Okay. Very good. Ok, good. You got, yes, we can. Okay, thank you, William. Now, Romeo, for yours. Yes, Romeo. My God. 
Tú más lo mencionas en el juez. Ok. Uh, Ana García. <ríe> That was funny. Uh, eh, Plus. Metro Centro. Uh -huh. Miss of Transportation. Taxi. Uh -huh. Ajá. Eh, Guayúa. Ajá. Eh, Cars. Uh -huh. Cinépolis, motocicle, no sé Moro, cómo es. Motorcycle. Ah, motorcycle. Uh -huh. eh, can I go to the Huayua by cars? By car. By cars, perdón. Ajá. ¿Y la respuesta? Yes. ¿Cómo la respuesta? Yes. Yes. It's, it's just like yes, I can or yes, you can, okay? Yes, I. I can. Yes, I. Why you or como? No, yes, I can. That's it. I see. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Uh huh. Ah, okay. Okay. Very okay. good, Ana. Thank you. All right, and because of the time, let's do the last one, Mrs. Urrutia. I'm gonna stay with you. Okay, place, supermarket, mm -hmm. um, transportation food. Uh -huh. uh, can I get to the supermarket by foot? Uh -huh. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Very good. Because of the time, people, we're gonna stay here, but tomorrow we will continue with this. Listen, por motivos de tiempo, nos vamos a quedar hasta acá, right? Like, we're not having you like for so long in here. And tomorrow we will continue with this and we're gonna do a general practice. By tomorrow, please try to be in here, right? In the class. Para mañana sí, tratemos de estar, you know, like, puntuales a la hora, or if you're traveling, please just, just connect and, and be here in the class. Pues ya que mañana, recordemos, vamos a tener lo de la, la encuesta de satisfacción. Okay, and it's, and it's better to do it in here, Look, you know, like everybody. We're going to have it there. And besides that, tomorrow is the last video conference, okay? Y ya que mañana, pues, va a ser la última video conferencia también. So that's why I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, William, in this case, I haven't had the 10 minutes feedback with you, right? Hemos tenido los 10 minutos de feedback, William. Se me queda después, después de, de la asistencia, ¿ok? We're going to have okay. them today. We're going to have them today. Eh, same as, as I was saying yesterday, people. Listen. Si tienen alguna duda con respecto a la tarea 19 y, y la tarea de ayer, if you haven't done it, just let me know, ¿ok? Me lo hacen saber a través del, del, del WhatsApp. And I can help you up how, how to do it. Así que espero que para mañana, people, ok, ya durante el día puedan hacer el examen final, ok, de, de final exam. Y esperaría también que ya para la noche ya estemos con la tarea 20, you know, like finished. ¿Por qué? Porque antes de medianoche necesito subir esas notas. Recordemos que ahora... Oh, oh, hubiésemos eh, terminado el módulo, pero surgieron algunos contratiempos y pues no pudimos estar un día, así que nosotros vamos un día como, you know, behind, atrás. Entonces, we need to finish by tomorrow, like everything. Entonces, esperaría el examen final y la tarea 20 mañana. El examen final puede ser durante el día y la tarea 20 después de clase, ¿ok? Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? No. Ok, cool. Voy a dejar de compartir y pasar asistencia entonces. And we're going to stay here. Give me a second. Ana Claribel. Este. Ok, good. Ana María. No, she's, she's, she left, right? Uh, Diana Gabriela. Aquí estoy, presente. Yo creí que ya iba de camino. No, para nada. Ok, Diana Gabriela. Hey, where is Diana? 
Ah, con que la que se me fue fue Diana. Ajá. Okay. No, se quedó, se quedó sin internet, ha puesto en el, en el Eric, grupo de Ah, WhatsApp. ¿really? Ah, ella fue la que se quedó con, sin internet. Sí, así es. Ah, uh, ok. Good. Uh, thank you, Eric. Eric? Present teacher. Ok. Ever de Jesús. Ah, él tuvo igual un inconveniente. Fátima Alejandra. Present teacher. No, ok. Good. Helmar Cruz. Present teacher. Ok. Carla Benacir. Present teacher. Nice. Jonathan Alexander. Ah, Jonathan has some problems too. Mm. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Nice. Nubia Zulema. Present. Ah, ok. Very good. Ah, uh, Romeo Alexis. Present. Very good. Rosa del Carmen. I mean, I think Rosa is fall asleep or something like that. Ajá. Uh -huh. Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay, good. Salvador Alfonso. Present teacher. Nice. Sara Carolina. Teacher. Very good. Ah, uh, Stephanie Lisset. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, William Alberto. Present. Okay, good. Joanny Noemi. Present. Okay, and the last one, but not least one, Stephanie Janet. Present. Okay, good people. All right, so if there is no questions to be answered today, let's see you tomorrow, okay, at 8 o'clock, okay, to finish the module. Bye-bye, people. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night, everybody. I'm just staying with William. Ok. Permítame, voy a, voy a poner en sala de espera Rosa, que creo que se nos quedó parqueada. Ok, William. Uh, as you know, we're going to dedicate these 10 minutes. We're going to have 10 minutes to clarify any doubt or any question that you might have from this class or the previous classes. So I come and ask you, do you have any questions related to the topics, William? Um, the phrase, mm -hmm. this topic. The first topic. Get. Uh -huh, they get and go. Uh -huh. Okay, what, what is exactly the question that you got, William? Uh, the, when I say, when I say, mm -hmm. I get uh -huh. to, I get to home by bus. Uh-huh. Uh, get is the bell and auxiliar and in this in this time ah okay all right listen up when you talk about get is basically when you arrive to your house are you as you were saying like at this mm -hmm. i get <laughs> i get home is is like easier this way look i get home by bus okay I is the subject, get is the main verb, okay? Home by bus is only the complement. This is a positive statement, okay? This is a positive statement. Significa que I get home by bus. Ah, llego a casa en bus. You see? This is different from this one. I go home by bus. You see, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre ellas dos? Which one is the different? Or what is the difference? One is when you arrive to your house, okay? And the other one is the trip that you do, the travel that you do from place A to place B. Now, do you get the difference between they both? One is when you arrive and the other one is when you travel. And 
I get cuando ya llegué. Exactly, cuando llega. Uh -huh. I go cuando voy. Exactly, es the trip, es el viaje que toma hasta llegar ahí. So Pero get... no lleva ningún verbo. En este caso, go es el, el verbo principal. Y get también es el verbo principal. En esta no es oración. auxiliar. No, ahí no está actuando como un auxiliar. Ya, yeah. son verbos principales. Ellos dos no necesitan mm. de verbos auxiliares, a menos que la pongamos en pregunta. Pero ahí ellos igual siguen siendo verbos principales. ¿Qué podemos agregar auxiliares? Ahí sí. Example. Look. Como las preguntas que estábamos haciendo hoy al final. Can I go to Santa Ana by what? By bicycle? You see? Which one is the mm -hmm. auxiliary verb here? The auxiliary can. verb is can. Mm -hmm. I is the subject and go is the main verb. Verbo principal. You see? It is acting as the main verb. And then to Santa Ana by bicycle is the complement. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like in here. Look. Can I get to give me a place? Work. Okay. Can I get to work? By foot, you see, and you might say, Yes, you can. Okay, if it is positive, if it is negative, you can say, No, you can't. Uh, you see, like this, you see, this is the auxiliary. This one in simple present. Can you do this in simple future? Yes, you can. Dependiendo de la estructura que tengamos y del tiempo que hablemos, podemos crearlo. Example. Will you get to El Tunco Beach uh, by what? By taxi, for example. You see? Yes, I will. Oh, no, I won't. Okay. Ahora ya tenemos una pregunta en futuro. You see? This, this question is mm -hmm. in future. También podemos hacerla con go. You see? Will, yes, I got Will you go to Santa Tecla by, you see, by bike? Like this. Will you go to Santa Tecla by, by bike? And you might say the same, you see? Yes, I will if it is positive and no. I want if it is negative. Entonces, dependiendo del contexto y del tiempo en que estemos hablando o estemos preguntando, así va a ser el tipo de auxiliar que usemos. But, siempre go y siempre get van a ser los verbos principales. Ok, because okay. in that case we are uh, providing information de cómo llegar o cómo ir. So, no pueden ser verbos secundarios. Tienen que ser verbos primarios in this case. Yeah, and mm. it depends on, the, on, on how we get it. Yes. I don't know if we, if we got clear with this, mister. Yes, oh, sí. No, okay, perfect. Ajá, uh -huh. esa era la duda, ¿por qué no? Ajá. Uh -huh. Como siempre va un verbo después del auxiliar. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. No, pero en este caso acá, sí. En este caso, como no son estructuras que van con otros con otros uh, tipos de complemento, no, no lleva generalmente auxiliar. That's why. A menos que ya se creen preguntas, pero igual, eh, ya se crearían dependiendo del contexto. Si hablamos a futuro, podemos usar will o be going to, la estructura que estuvimos viendo uh, uh, hace un par de clases. 
¿ok? Y si es uh, presente simple, podemos usar can, o, podremos, o para posibilidades podríamos usar could. ¿Sí? Ok, Dependiendo... en la tercera persona, no ah. es go, Ah, en, oh, ese gas, caso, en, es, en ese caso, en terceras personas, ya, yeah, en ese caso para he, she, and it sería goes. Siempre. ¿No? Yes. In a positive statement. In, y get sería, ahí like dice, gets. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, let's, let's write down an example here. Look. She gets home after work. You see? We got gets. In, in with S and goes. He goes to Metro Centro every weekend. You see? He goes in positive statements. Aquí ya es en oraciones positivas. Ok. ¿Cómo hacer oraciones negativas? ¿O qué agregamos en oraciones negativas? Ah, that is different. Remember, in negative statements, we use, ya sea, look at this, do or does, but in negative, plus not. In like, in here too, okay? Do or does in negative, plus not. Example, take a look at this. Yes, I'm going to make this a little bit closer to this one. To get the example here. Okay, she gets home after work. And check this out. In negative, she doesn't. Aquí ya estamos usando negativo. You see? Ya usamos el verbo do como auxiliar. El, y aquí en tercera persona sería does, plus not, doesn't. She doesn't get home after work. Ah, ella no llega a casa después del trabajo. You see? This one is, is, is negative. Aquí ya estamos hablando de un negativo. It's like in here. In here it happens the same. Acá pues sucede lo mismo. You see, we can create negative statements. For example, I can say he, or let's do it with a proper noun. William doesn't, listen up, go to the beach by bus. You see, aquí ya usamos doesn't para hacer oraciones en negativo en tercera persona. Y acá el verbo sí se pondría sin ES. Doesn't go. Like, mm -hmm. William no va a la playa en bus. You see? That is for negative statements. Aquí es en, en presente simple. So, dependiendo de la estructura que tengamos, así va a ser el tipo de auxiliar que coloquemos en negativo. Yeah, these, are, these, these, these ones are in negative. No puedo, no puedo poner she gets no home. No. Tengo que you, poner does, does exactly, no. Exactly. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando del presente simple. Y en presente simple no podemos hacer eso. Yes. Necesitamos. En el pasado, didn't. Exactly. Ahí ya sería. Get. Exactly. Ahí ya sería didn't. Didn't go, didn't get. Uh -huh. Ok. Ya sería la forma de do en pasado. Es más fácil en pasado porque es didn't para primera y tercera persona. ¿Ok? En cambio acá en el presente simple es un tanto más complejo porque en primera persona es do o para plurales y does para las, para las terceras personas. Don't para las primeras, doesn't para las terceras. Yeah, we have to be paying attention on that. But in, in, in simple past it's different. Es un tanto más sencillo. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, ya para futuro, pues, usando will, ya sería, si lo vamos a hacer en negativo, sería want, el auxiliar. Because mm -hmm. uh -huh. will is an auxiliar. Yeah. Okay. Any other question, William, related to this? 
No, sí está claro. Ok, perfect. No sé si con las uh, clases anteriores está todo claro también. O I don't know if you have any other questions. No sé, sí, sí está claro. Este sí estaba más ah, confuso. Por ah, ese, por el verbo. Ah, ajá, es, es que a usted le parecía que el verbo era como una especie de auxiliar, supongo. Uh -huh. ah, uh -huh, porque get es dar, creo. Ajá, oh. es, es conseguir o obtener. Ajá. Ajá, pero Ajá. acá, ya cuando hablamos de lugares, ya se refiere a llegar. Llegar. Ajá. Okay. Porque, puede, porque puede mencionar usted, I can get a phone, o I get a phone. Ah, conseguí un celular. You see? Pero ya cuando hablamos de lugar específico, ahí ya es llegar. Yeah. It depend on, depends on the context. Dependiendo del contexto que se utilice el verbo, así va a ser la traducción. Ya sea o conseguir o ya sea llegar. Ok. Yeah, this is, that's the way then. All right, so. It's clear entonces. Ok, very good. Eh, Con las tareas, ¿cómo vamos, William? Según la plataforma, llegué al 76. Nah, ok, good. Entonces, supongo que faltaría la de hoy y la de mañana, right? Quizás sí. Nah, muy bien, perfecto. Entonces, sí, estaríamos pendientes entonces con la tarea 19 y la 20 para mañana. Y mañana sería el examen final. Ok, para poder ya cuadrar las notas. Pero y... si quieres, mejor revise. Ah, ya. Yeah, si que no sé, es que ya no me dejó pasar. Ah, ¿really? Permítame un momento, voy a revisar ahorita. So I can check if how how's your your development in there. Yeah, because I, I have that, that part in here. Give me a second. Let me see. Yes, it's this part. So I can show Oh, you go here. Ahorita vemos. Okay, in homework number three. Ah, uh, okay. Sí, de la tarea, de la de, de las tareas, estamos a, a un 52% todavía, William. De la, de, la, de la semana 4. ¿Sí? sí? Ok. Ya, yeah, tenemos un 100% de la, de la semana anterior y un 80% de la, de la semana 2 y de la semana 1 igual, un 80%. So, let me see cuánto falta. Ya, yeah. faltaría prácticamente la mitad, William, from this week, de esta, de esta semana. Mm. Ah, ajá, del examen final, let me see. Ah, del examen final es que sí, ya lleva un 75%. Ay, 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 Ajá. Yo creí que por eso no me dejaba pasar. Sí, sí, aquí está, aquí dice. Ah, dice el examen adelantado entonces. Ay, en el examen, sí, ya lleva un 75% del examen. Ajá, ah, okay. entonces usted estaba enfocado más entonces en el examen. Entonces sí, faltaría, eh, let me see, estaríamos por... Sí, va más o menos como por la, la tarea 17, más o menos. Ajá. Ya, yeah, you, will, you will go here. Ajá, entonces, en este es el que he estado trabajando entonces, el final exam. Entonces, mm -hmm, acá. Es, ajá, y acá entonces nos faltaría lo de las tareas acá. Más o menos va por acá entonces en las tareas. En la tarea 17. Mm. Kind of like this. Entonces faltaría la, sí, faltaría la 18, 19 y la que vamos a hacer mañana. Esta se puede terminar mañana. La idea es Ok. Bien, entonces quedaría a la espera entonces, William, de, de, de la finalización de estas para ya cuadrar su, su nota y poderla enviar, al igual que ya el otro 25% que faltaría del examen. Ok. Ajá, ya en su, en su caso quedaría ya solo con el, la última parte del examen, que sería, supongo, la, en mi sí, 
si no me equivoco, sería ya la parte 4 del examen, la sección 4. Ya bien sencillo, uh -huh. son como cinco preguntas nada más. Ok. Ok. All right, William. Entonces, nos vemos mañana en la última videoconferencia, ok? If you don't have any other okay. questions. Ok. Good night. Ok, good night. Bye, bye. Oh.